You get off my bus. You want to run? Get off my bus. There's some tough love going on, but it's some kids that's got to understand what discipline is. I brought my boys to this camp just because their anger and their behavior is, is very difficult. They get mad and they tear their house up. Now you're here. You can't cry. You can't call mama. Oh, yeah, no mama phone. gone. I brought my son onto the show because he has no male guidance. All right, I know you're crazy, but everything gonna work out for you. Some young men get with the program right off the bat. They want to change. Others, you know, are not out here of their own free will. Their mothers want them to change. You mad at that? Oh, you mad at that? I'm kind of afraid of what comes next. Wake up! Get up out of the bed! Wake up, wake up, wake up! Are you gonna stay off the bunk? Let's go! Y'all not moving fast enough. Grab your stuff and get up out of here. I went to the jail, sign on my knee. Facing me, I'm motivated. We woke up at 4.30, brush our teeth, and did a workout. Open your mouth. Act like you part of this group. Three, four, two. I think they do this to, because uh, I, don't, I actually don't know why they do it. Being a single mom, being alone, trying to do everything, it's its hard. The programming that my daughter Brandy has created for the mothers is to give them some of the tools to better handle these boys. What I've gotten from this so far is that I'm not alone. And I'm here with 99 other women who we're all dealing with this struggle. You've got to know your kids. They're not the same at 6 and 16. I had no idea, really, that there was this much for the moms. I'm learning what I need to do here. He's learning what he needs to do there. So when we go home, we can work on it together. I am excited at the same time, scared. The male role model of an example is what's missing in these young men's lives. We're going to teach you the principles of manhood. Look at me when I'm talking to you. We're going to teach every last one of you how to become whatever it is you want to be. I don't see anything good if, they, if things don't change for all of us. Yo, yo, yo. Do you know how many days you're going to be exhausted as a man? Some of these boys are under the misconception that life comes without consequences, and it's not true. Now get your arms up. It feels good to really work hard. There we go. It's too easy, right? Pull up. Come on! I'm feeling good about the camp because we get to learn from all these speakers. The second thing you want to do is to give eye contact. I'm doing something I wanted to do forever, was play football. It's nice to have some male role model in my life. What we've tried to change in your boy is misguided information that they have about manhood. I've learned a lot, a lot this week. Just the speakers and the support was unbelievable. When a father is missing, there's a hole in his soul, a cutout, the shape of his father. Just to have somebody say you could do it and make you see where your mistakes are is just more than words can even say. At the beginning, I hated it because of PT, but I don't know, I'm starting to like it now. It's nice being around these other kids because they basically have the same story that I do. My confidence has really built up since I got here. It feels good acting like a man. Are you motivated? Motivated, motivated, downright motivated. You check me out, you check me out. I decided to write my father a letter. For me, this was my way of getting it out. I want you to take some time to write a letter to your father. As I was writing that, like, I just felt his presence there, and I just felt it just lift off. I saw what other people had to go through, and they still forgive their dads, so I thought I could try to. There's a lot of people that's going through the same thing. It feels pretty good. I don't feel as alone. The majority of these kids don't want the week to end. The minute I saw him, I started crying. He was walked up like he had confidence. 
I'll be honest, they did not want to come, and I think they've gotten a lot from it, and I think that they've just done wonderful. I'm just so proud of him for wanting to come here and wanting to change. If you don't learn nothing from this camp except be the man your father ain't been to you, how about that? Let him see what he missed. Show him what you made of yourself, because you can do it, all right? I feel like I'm going to walk away from this camp with a lot of knowledge that will really help me grow. Anybody ain't heard the words, I love you. We do. It's because we do. I've always known I had to be a man, but at this camp, I learned how to be a man. I love y'all. Thank you very much. This camp is a life-changing experience that we couldn't live without.